Hi, thanks for watching Edward here. In this video, I'm going to do a, a quick tutorial on how to edit videos um, so that uh, you're able to do those really fancy visual effects that I do on my videos. You know, the zooming and panning, and I kind of zoom in in a 3D way. I'll just show you what I mean. I'm going to do this tutorial um, in my video editing software just to show you exactly what I'm doing. So, you know, this is a tutorial video that I created uh, for my system. And if I just play this to show you what I'm talking about, gone because you are successfully upgraded and there are a lot of extra menu items on the left side here um, you'll you'll learn about the main features uh, um, within the steps right here there's some extra features and all of the uh, videos right here are, are different so uh, you need to go through so as you as you saw um, I was you know showing you how, how I'm you know I was showing you what I'm doing with this sort of visual effect a lot of extra menu items on the left. So I'm sort of zooming in in a sort of 3D way. I'm panning in and zooming out and so on. Um, and I found it it really makes it easy for viewers to see exactly what you're doing on screen. They can, they can you know, you're zooming in, they see what menu items you're clicking on, they see exactly where to click, where to go, what to do, um, and you're zooming in in a nice um, easy way. Um, and, it, and it has a very fancy sort of um, you know animation to it so and I found that this has really boosted the engagement on my videos and people like it people have commented and that's why I'm doing this tutorial because people have said how do you do this so I'm now you know doing this video on how to do this so people have been asking me for a while now how I'm, how I'm doing this but it, I haven't just I haven't been able to get around to, to do this tutorial but now I finally uh, decided to post this tutorial and uh, it's not going to be for everyone it's going to be a little bit technical for some but uh, so if it is technical and you get frustrated just just don't bother with it because it's not for everyone um, but uh, like I say people did ask me and I just wanted to share this and show you how to do it um, I'm I'm also going to show you how to do the intro that I do you know um, so how I'm at you know I'm adding in the background picture the nice picture here um, and I'm fading in Hello and welcome to the upgraded version of Network Solutions Pro. This is your new back. So notice how I sort of brought the window in small and it sort of animated in and then it got larger. But you can do this any way you like and I'm going to show you this in this video. So 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 watch on and uh, I hope for you I hope, I hope you get something out of this. Okay, so so in this next part, okay, so I've I've just recorded that. This is the foot, the first part of the footage, which which I've just recorded. That was the introduction to this video, um, and I've added added that into the timeline. But I just needed a, a foot, a bit of footage here, just to work with, just to show you what I'm I'm doing. Um, so what you've got here is you've got the visual, you know, area here. Um, so where you're you're seeing what you're doing, and this is the foot video footage that you've just recorded, and now you're working with the the, the recording that you just recorded. Um, <clears throat> and you've got all the um, tools on the left hand side and this is your this is your timeline and this is your your cursor that you move across um, and wherever the cursor is 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 where you're going to be sort of um, editing so what I what I tend to do is I tend to start off now let me first of all let me just show you what I'm talking about because for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about this is a tutorial that I did for my for the system that I'm, I'm uh, I've just launched um, just notice um, here. Okay, if I just play this part, successfully upgraded, and there are a lot of extra menu. So notice how this window changes, and it sort of zooms in in a three D sort of way. It pans, um, and it and it makes it a lot easier when you're demonstrating stuff. How you're you know able to zoom in like this and people have asked me how am I doing this items on the left side here um, you'll you'll learn about the main features um, within the steps right here there's some extra features and all of the uh, videos right here are... so you know this is quite this is quite nice you know for people to to you know to see what's going on they can you're, you're zooming in you're they're seeing exactly where your mouse is on the screen um, and they can see exactly what's written here and where your mouse is sort of referring to and pointing to and so on. So I'm just going to show you how to do that because people have asked me how am I doing this. So uh, if I go back into Camtasia here, so all you're really doing is you're just moving your mouse uh, 
uh, your sort of timer, you know, your your mouse thing here across and the exact point wherever you want it. Um, so I go into, for example, okay, if you've got the tools all along here, and what I'm going to show you here is I'm just going to show you the animations. Okay, these are the animations. Okay, and we've got a custom animation. You've got presets here, but I tend to just use the custom one because it does, you know, it allows me to do things. You just drag and drop right to the point, you know, where your, you know, where you where you've got your um, pin, whatever it's called, uh, or needle, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, and then from this point on, you notice when I move the uh, cursor back, you know, it goes white because it's not actually recording your your movements. So when you move it o over that, it goes red, and from that point on, it's going to be red because everything you do on from this point is just simply going to record. So it, anything that you do and you move this, and you, it's going to record the animation. So I could even just simply move it like this, and that is enough to 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 record that animation so look what happens if I just move it back see it, it recorded that animation so if I just play the video is it um, it allows me to sort of zoom in and in a sort of a 3d way okay well I'm just gonna um, delete that uh, movement and then just do some more clever stuff so over here on the prop uh, where it says properties you just click this a little panel comes up and this is where you can do some you know animations or movements you can change the Z axis Y or Z uh, sorry um, Z Y or X okay so so you've got to make sure that the actual th the, the object that you have on the screen is uh, selected and then you've also got a custom animation added to the point where you want it to start okay and and you make sure that that dot is red and so from this point, what you can do is you can just sort of change the animation, uh, change the, uh, the movement. So I'm just going to do that <clears throat> and then scale it, move it around a bit. So let's say, for example, if I'm talking about this sort of menu here um, or whatever, it, it'll just zoom in and make it easier for the viewers to see what's going on. It's, um, it allows me to sort of zoom in and in a sort of a 3D way, you know, it allows me to pan and zoom. And then any more a point from this point on, you can, you, you can, you know, do your next animation or you can actually use this restore animation. That's a, one of the um, pre-done for you animations. And it'll just simply restore to the previous state, um, however it was. It automatically remembers where your previous state was. So it'll go back to the way it was. Okay, but I'm not going to do that because I want to go on and do something else instead. So you just go to the point where you you know you've done with this view and you want to change it. You just select the custom, and then maybe I'll just send it the other way. I don't know, move it around completely. <laughs> I'm just playing around here and just showing you. I think you'll get the idea. But Camtasia is. It, um, it allows me to sort of zoom in and in a sort of a 3D way, you know, it allows me to pan and zoom in and, um, and many of the people who've been following me on YouTube. So that's how you do it really. I mean, it's as simple as that. I don't really use any of these at all. And I hardly ever use the restore point because, you know, I just remember where I want to start. Um, and I tend to start off right at the beginning um, where, you know, I make it much smaller and I just put it in. It automatically guides you where the center point is. Um, and I just put it to 50, for example, so it's small. And then I just take it off the screen, keep it in the middle. Um, and then I put an animation here. And then now that it's recording, I just start moving it to the point where I want it. So now what happens there is that it just comes on to the screen. So if I play it, a piece of software called Camtasia. I don't know why. Oh, hold on. So this is the software I use to do. So there it is. It comes onto the screen. And then I move it forwards a bit more, and I put in another custom element, animation, whatever you call it. And then I bring it in to about 80. 
developed a software called Camtasia. So this is the software I use to do most of my videos. Okay, I you know when I'm doing tutorial. So you know if this was the beginning of the video, um, you know, and and I think this is what a lot of people have noticed that I'm doing is I tend to start the video off in the same sort of way with the background here. And welcome to the upgraded version of Network Solutions Pro. So that's how, I, how I'm doing it. I'm doing a sort of a custom intro or a custom uh, transition or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So it just makes it look quite good. Um, but I, obviously with the media pad panel here, you can add in um, extra media such as pictures and stuff. So I'm just going to put in um, a nice uh, picture. I don't know, just something random. And then I can just drag that into the timeline. It doesn't work on layers. So, you know, you can control how, well, it, it works on layers, but it just, you know, this is track two, but it doesn't mean that this has to be on top. You can actually make the picture, um, keep it on track two, but you can make, you can just sort of um, right click with your mouse and the menu comes up and you go to arrange, uh, hold on a minute. Oh, sorry, it's on the screen. You have to go to the screen. Right click on the screen, go to arrange um, and send to back. So that goes to the back and you need to make it full screen. So you need to resize, make it central. Um, the other thing I tend to do is I go to visual effects there and there's a little shadow and I just put that into the foreground here. So this particular window has a shadow on the background if you see what I mean. And then I go down and I tend to use reflection as well. It makes it look quite nice, especially if you've got a kind of a water background. <laughs> um, and then when it says, you know, properties always update with whatever elements you've added in, added in there. So it's got reflection here. It's got the drop shadow. So with the reflection, I tend to like it to tend, I tend to change that to zero. Notice the reflection goes straight to the, uh, you know, it's, it's right on the, uh, it's right on, it's I don't know how you say it but um, I made that go I tend to make that reflection zero it's the distance that's what it's that's what I, that's the word I'm looking for the distance from the um, element um, you know and then you've got the reflection immediately below it I tend to like that better but that's up to you but anyway you may not want reflection or shadow or anything like that maybe you do your own thing but I uh, uh, just wanted to show you what I'm what how I'm doing these things um, so that's kind of like an intro so we just I'll just show you that Asia. So this is the software I use to do most of my videos. Okay, I, you know, when I'm doing tutorial. The other thing I do is to make it, you can almost see it here on the edge. You can either push it right the way off, but but with if you if you push it right the way off the screen, you're not going to be able to bring it back on because you can't unless you make unless you take this down to something a little. Uh, you can you can change the size of the canvas. But what I tend to do, it seems to be a lot easier, is you go right to the top and you where it says opacity, you can take it down to zero. So you can't see it at all. And then when it... Camtasia. So this is the software I use to do most of my videos. Okay, I, you know, when I'm doing tutorials. Okay, so that's how that works. It allows me to sort of zoom in and in a sort of a 3D way, you know, it allows me to pan and zoom in and, um, and many... Um, the other thing you can do is you can change, I, I usually think the default is fine, but you can zoom in onto these little um, pieces down here and you can change the length to suit you. If you change, if you make it longer, it'll take longer to zoom in. It allows me to sort of zoom in and, you know, sort of a three. So actually that's not bad. It actually looks quite good if it takes it, if it's slower to move in but I, I just like the I like it I like it a bit faster so I just tend to make that shorter if you make it really short it probably too fast zoom in and you know sort of a 3d way no, that's not too bad either so yeah I hope that helps um, and it just makes it a lot more um, interesting for the viewer and I found that my videos are a lot more kind of um, engaging people have commented on how they like the, the way I'm doing my videos and the effects and the animations on the uh, you know effects the way I zoom in and stuff 
uh, they tend to like that. So that's how you do it. So Camtasia is the software that I use and um, because I love those little animations and, and it's easy to use. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this was a good video. I'll do some more videos with um, on teaching you a bit on Camtasia, but uh, it's a good software. Um, talk to you soon. Bye for now.